Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your weekend. Hello my beautiful people, welcome to your week ahead uh, weekly general tarot scope with me Raphael from Reading at Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you, thank you so much for being here, thank you so much for joining me. So these readings are the general overarching themes and energies and trends that we are likely to be experiencing as a whole. So when I say a weekly general this is literally that, it's like an overarching energy view uh, for the week ahead basically. Um, if you are new to my channel please don't forget to like, share and if you should so choose and it resonates, hit that subscribe button. If you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. So before we start, as always, I would like to bless my decks of cards with all forms of love, like peace, prosperity, and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise, and they help us all on our paths to our highest vibrational good. So this week, <clears throat> for uh, the intuitive message, um, it, the message, so basically what I saw was, um, I can't remember what they're called, but it's kind of like a thing that usually sits in like a, a shrink's office. Um, and it's like a set of balls and you can take one and it will transfer the force through the other. And what I saw was one of those, but rather than it just kind of following the usual motion, um, it kind of started to swing out and then kind of kept swinging out and kept swinging out. And what I was seeing was this pattern that was forming. And what I was starting to understand is that this week, by glancing over the past, you are going to observe the pattern. So it's gonna reveal the pattern to you. So this week, I want you to really think about your past. I know a lot of people are like, no, I don't like thinking about the past. And you know, sometimes there are things in our past that we don't want to think about, however, this week there can be a massive reveal of some sort that could really show you, um, in a lot of ways actually, I think this week could really show you what you're, not so much what you're missing, but more a case of what the pattern is that runs through, like, and I've said this before and I'll say it again and I truly believe this. When you look back over your life path, you will notice that there were certain events that prepare you for what you're doing now. And at the time they seem random or maybe they seem laborious, whatever it is, but you, you know, when you look back, you can see that there's a thread running through the whole thing that ties it all together. This week, you're being asked to really observe the patterns uh, of the cycles that you go through, that we go through as people, uh, but especially on a personal level. So pay attention to this, look over your past. When you have thoughts about your past come up, try to take the emotion out of it. It's not gonna be easy. We've got a Scorpio full moon on the 26th, uh, you know, 26th, 27th, depending on where you are in the world world and that's going to be a really powerful energy. So um, in a lot of ways this might see you looking at the past, it might see you observing some of the phenomena that you feel like you're out of control um, out of control of, right? So one of the things that I want you to do this week is when, when all of those past energies or uh, memories, you know, challenges, ideas about the past, all of that kind of stuff, when it comes up, don't judge it, don't seek to destroy it or chuck it away, just observe it because when you look back over the over the course of this week and over the course of your lifespan over the course of this week, you're very likely to see that there is a pattern emerging. Is it that you constantly find yourself in the same kind of relationship with the same kind of person? Well, this is gonna show you not only how you get yourself into those situations, both good and bad, uh, you know, light and dark, blessing and lesson, uh, whichever way you wanna, you wanna talk about it, um, it's not only going to reveal that to you, but more importantly, it's going to show you what your part is in it, right? Where it is that you are drawing or attracting that to yourself. Uh, it could be the same about your finances, about your work, about the way that you feel like you're taken advantage of, or maybe that all things are, you know, a lot more is put on your shoulders than anybody else's. Like whatever the pattern is, you're going to notice it this week. And more importantly, you will have a deep if not sort of scolding insight into how it is that you are attracting that experience to yourself. And that's a really, really important part of the puzzle because once you figure that out, you can switch it off, right? You can switch it off or as my old pa says, switch it up a gear, right? I, I used to get so annoyed with him when he said that to me. <laughs> Uh, until I reached, what, 22 and was like, ah, oh, okay, this is how you do it, switch it up. Yeah, all right? So take a moment to consider that this week. So for our destiny card for the week ahead, the overarching energy or theme that is running through all things for all people, 
this week we have the Magician card, right? So very powerful card and very powerful energies this week. A full moon is a culmination point, right? It's a culmination, a completion, an ending, but it's also the beginning of something. And I always say this to people, when you think about a full moon, it's kind of like when a woman is pregnant, right? So when she's full, full moon, right? She then has the baby. So it's the end of the pregnancy, but it's the beginning of the life of the child. And that's a whole different phase of uh, parenthood, motherhood, whatever that, that starts for that person. The Magician card is a grand, uh, it's a grand beginning, right? It's an initiation, it's an inception of some sort. And the fact that we have this as the Destiny card, this can be the start of a very powerful run of energy. It can be the start of something truly amazing and wonderful for you. But the message with the Magician card is you have to do the work. You have to pick up the wand. You have to channel the energy. You have to take the energy or the idea that's been given to you and run with it. You have to do something with it. The thing about the, uh, the Magician card, a lot of people say like, oh yeah, you know, and it's got that trickster element. Yeah, it's got all of that. Absolutely. But it is about action. It's about forward momentum and progression. It's phallic in some way, shape or form as well, right? This week, the energy is basically saying, what are you going to do with it? How we, Once you've observed and you've glanced the pattern, what are you now going to do with that knowledge? How are you going to put that into play or into action in your own life. You have more power than you know. When the Magician card shows up, it's basically saying, you're in control here, what are you gonna do about it? All right, so let's have a look at our Direction cards. How do we best utilize this Magician card energy? And this week we have the King of Wands, right? So you've got to be bold, you've got to be effective, you've got to be uh, carefree, and ultimately, regardless of how people look at you, you have to step forward in a way that you feel is not only right for you, but ultimately presents you in the way that you truly want to be seen. No more behind the curtain stuff. I've told you, I've said this to so many people this year, uh, so many people last year about the year ahead that was coming up. If you are planning to do all of this, pulling the scene, pulling the strings from behind the scene stuff, you're way, way, way behind the game and you need to catch up. Uh, that whole energy is done. It really is. So, you know, take the King of Wands for that. Then we have the Strength card. So a Leo person, uh, quite often, very often a Leo male, uh, but doesn't have to be, right? It could feature for you in some way, shape or form. If you've got a friend, a partner, uh, a sibling, if you've got anybody in your life that is a Leo, they may have some really interesting conversation for you this week and they may even just give you an idea of some sort. Now, uh, the other thing that comes up is the Three of Cups. So there is a grand reunion of some sort this week. So you could be reconnecting with a friend, you could be reconnecting with somebody from the past, you may even be reconnecting with an idea or a, a type of energy from your past that you really, really enjoyed. Like this could be something that you, something, I mean, look at the strength card, right? This could be something that you really, in your heart of hearts, absolutely used to love and now you need to pick it back up. A creative idea or or endeavor is asking you to push forward. So in terms of the direction, we talked about the uh, the King of Wands, right? But look at the Strength card. And what that basically says to me is, you have to find the courage this week to really forge ahead and present yourself in the way that is truly unique to who you are. And this is gonna take you down some roads of memory lane. This is gonna maybe see you reconnecting with people that you worked with, maybe reconnecting with old friends. I mean, with the Three of Cups, this can be a lot of fun, a lot of fun, all right? And for some people, this week you could be reconnecting with a very powerful person from your past. Uh, it may be that this person spontaneously shows up. Now, it doesn't have to be from the past. I'm just saying that because there's obviously a lot of this moon slash lunar energy around, right? And the Three of Cups tends to be a reunion of some sort or, or a get together. However, for some people, you could be meeting somebody that is in a position of power that carries a very 
leonine sort of energy. And what I love about this, because of the cards that have shown up here in the direction, these tell me that there's none of that trickster energy with the magician card. So whoever this powerful person is, they can be trusted. Whoever this powerful person is, or this move, you know, this mover and shaker, go get a type. This is somebody that could really help you get ahead. Somebody that could really help you own your path in a lot of ways. And what I love most about this is, it tends to see you, um, the reason I say this is because these cards are having an influence on the destiny card, but the destiny card is infusing everything, right? And so these cards suggest to me that whoever this person is, they can be trusted. They are all above board. What you see is what you get. This person is a master manifest, master manifestor and a powerful person at that. Um, I mean, on the wider world stage as well, don't be surprised if we sort of, um, I want to say, so, like, so maybe not necessarily what you would consider a, per a powerful person, but certainly somebody who has been in the limelight a lot and has shrunk away. This week we could be hearing from them, they could be piping up about something or other this week. And uh, I think that's as much as I want to say on that, uh, on that at this moment in time. So for the insight card, or cards, uh, this week we get the three of pentacles, right? So this is all about learning, study, taking on new information, the knight of wands, right? So satisfactory conclusions to things that you've been working very hard on. And then you've got the justice card. This could be a new contract of some sort. For some of you, this is satisfactory conclusion to an application that you've made. For some of you, this could be uh, the school that you've applied for gets back to you and says, by the way, we have a place for you. Um, this could be getting, you know, getting a space on a course that you've wanted to study. It could also be for some of you, and I'm speaking directly to those of you that are students of mine right now, this could also be a week where it all finally starts to make sense. You know, when you're studying something new or um, maybe rededicating yourself to a path of study and, you know, you go through that stage of like, okay, this is just all separate moving parts. You know, when is it going to come together? This is a week of that, not just for my students, but for everybody, actually. This could be a week where something that you've worked on, something that you've really dedicated your time and energy to, um, that seems to have been elusive for you, can finally start to come together and you can be like, right, this really makes sense now. I can really see how all of these bits and bobs come together. Another way that this could show up as well, um, for some of you, this could be you rededicating to uh, a um, I want to say rededicate into a path of, uh, what's the word that I'm looking for? Uh, a revenue stream, rededicating yourself to a revenue stream that is going to take you to brush up your skills. Uh, outside of that, the Knight of Wands is a gorgeous card, right? Because it's all about passion, desire, moving forward. And ultimately, it's really about you honouring the impulse within, right? So whatever ideas knowledge and influence come up whether you know through a person or through yourself this week you've got the inner commitment the inner drive and passion to make it happen but you are going to have to be when i say in it for the long haul it looks like you're going to have to really think about where you are where it is that maybe you're lagging or you know or not doing what needs to be done or more importantly where you can just really put more effort in you know it's like one of those things that you know when you go up the hill in a car there comes a point where you have to just really put your foot down all right so this could be that um all in all i don't think this is going to be a bad week at all i think this is going to be a really great week for all of us because we have that powerful scorpio full moon on the 26th slash 27th, depending on where you are in the world, your human design oracle card is the gate 42 and closing, right? And the one the, the, that I like to see this card, it's very often about closing an old chapter, right? So you see there, so like she's, she's uh, pulling the, um, the thing down. Now, a lot of people are like, oh, well, why would you shut down the sunlight? It's not about shutting down the sunlight. It's about closing off one period so that you can immerse yourself in the new one. This really fits actually very much so with the glancing over the past reveals the patterns. 
pay attention this week to what you're ready to let go of, to what you're ready to release. Uh, and more importantly, what has, where, the thing is when you close down one chapter in your life, that's when you fully appreciate what it's done for you and where you can put the lessons, blessings, uh, you know, gems of wisdom that you've learned from that chapter in your life into the next one. That's how it's supposed to happen. And it's one of the things that a lot of people get stuck on. It's like they just go from event to event to event. Well, what about taking the knowledge and the gems of wisdom that you've earned throughout that period, you know, through the, the lessons and the blessings, right? When you can take those things and apply them to the next aspect of your life or the next chapter of your life, that's when you truly become a master manifester or a magician in your own right, okay? With that said, I wish you all an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic full moon. Have an amazing week. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.